Okay, so yeah, I've just um, I managed to print out one by one. So let me just try this again. Actually, it possibly could go. To, if my inventory was full, I think it would actually go into the chest. But if I just try and do a four by four again, let's try this again. Do four by four. Let's do a print. Okay. So actually, it's good that I did the one by one because I can also see which you know which corner. I'd imagine the top left is the probably the sort of the key corner. You can see the four by four is taking considerably longer. Okay. So to place um to place uh so what we need to do now is we've got the photo right um um we could actually let's use this one for a minute. We right click with this and see it's got its name. Um, yeah, if we right click, we, it, it just takes us straight back into the interface. Okay, um, let's get this one as well. So what we want to do now is we want to um, turn these photos into posters so we can put them on the wall. Okay. So we just do that. Let's try this one. So there we go. All right, now if we right click with this anywhere, takes us straight back into the interface. If we get a wall, let's like, say here. There we go. So that's pretty cool actually when you think about it. Um, and if we look at the other one, um, um, but yeah, but it's actually gonna get even cooler than that in a minute. Let's do the other one. We can look, we compare and see how this is actually working. Oh, I see. Okay, that wasn't actually what I thought was going to happen. But basically, what happens is, is, yeah, it just takes the whole photo, but it just puts it any size you want. So that's pretty cool. To be honest, that is kind of more obvious. I thought it was going to somehow crop it. But yeah. So as you can see, that picture that I just took moments ago is now a 4x4 picture there, which is pretty, pretty fucking cool when you think about it. And if we right click here, yeah, it's going to take us back to that um, interface as well. So that's really cool. Um, now, both... Um, okay, I should actually... Um, I'm just going to go back here a minute. Um, do I have any other... I've got one photo there as well. So I could take that out, put this in here. And I need to make it into a processed film first, don't I? Wow, I'm already forgetting what I've just done myself. So I'll do that. I'll make this into a processed film. Um, water bucket. Yep. So put the water bucket in there. It's going to turn it into a processed film. I'm going to do another 4x4 because I like the 4x4 ones. So I'll get that out. Um, and then I'm going to put the processed color film in there, and we're going to go for a 4x4. Four four. Um, let's activate it by pressing the X. 4x4, four four. yep. Got the paper in there, and we'll just do another print. All right. Um, so, yeah. So I'm not going to actually turn that into the um, um, the painting quite yet. I've, okay. So the next thing we want to do then is is that both posters and photos can have a teleportation effect. So let's get these down and get this one. So did I get them both? Where's the other one going? There we go. All right. So what we need to do now then is so we've got like a couple of posters here, and we've got the um um. And we've got just um, a photo. Okay. So what we could do now is we get these ender pearls, and we can actually start to do put some teleportation effects on here, which is going to be able to make um, basically make portals and stuff like that. Um, so what we need to do then is um, okay. There's a little bit. There's, there's actually a bit more to it than just what I'm saying here. What you do you basically just get an ender pearl, and you put it say together with with um, uh, a photo, 
and then we get this 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 glowy one similarly if we take a painting put it together with an ender pearl we get the glowing painting so yeah so what's going to happen now um if we right click with it um this ender pearl yeah i mean it, it shouldn't actually is actually going to be able to teleport us directly to it so yeah so we'll go around here somewhere else just around here right click on it um Hmm. Okay. So this might work in creative. Let's start try on creative mode. Right click it. And there we go. The teleports worked. So the reason why that didn't actually work in survival, I'm going to go back to survival. The reason it didn't work in survival is because you need a teleportation battery. Um, okay. So let's do that. We're going to get a teleportation battery. So the way to make a tele uh, teleportation battery is we get the redstone and an ender pearl, and here we have the teleportation battery. Okay. So there it is. Um, now, now in survival, um, it's, it should have. It's got ten uses, I believe, and it stacks. And you can put it in six, you can put it in, it's got a stack of six. Oh, it's got 11. So you can see, there we go, it's actually got a usage amount. So now, if I, um, all right, so I put this painting on the wall here. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to see if I can just jump straight through it. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I should have, I don't know, maybe if I just... right click with it when do I right click with uh... yeah I sort of I sort of thought maybe I could just jump through it oh there we go so yeah that's pretty cool let's just try that again so you can see I can actually jump straight through it and you can see that the um, the durability of the teleportation battery went down okay that's cool now, since for some reason I lost a bit of health as well, I don't know why that was. Okay. So there is also a, a further way that you could possibly do this. Um, and you can see that uh, another thing you can do is to avoid having the battery, what you can do is, is create um, something called a teleportation enabler. And what that will do it, is it will um, allow you to... It will allow you to... Um, yeah, basically teleport as well. Um, but the difference is, is that it's, it's within a range. So it's not actually a block. So if we get out, let's, let's make this teleportation enabler. Um, um, we need we need to use the teleportation battery. I'm, I'm not sure if I can use that one there. Perhaps I can. No, I can't. All right, let's make another teleportation battery. I don't want to, um, let's just do that then. So if we recall, the teleportation battery is simply um, three pieces of redstone and ender pearl. Now we'll put this in the center. Put redstone underneath, surround it with iron, like so. And there we go. Teleportation enabler. So what this is going to do is it's going to um, allow us without um, a battery to for it to work so it doesn't have an actual interface but as you can see um, well I do have a battery let's just put that in the chest um, okay so now we're going to go back here we've got no battery so it shouldn't work we are in survival mode all right so let's have a look. And there we go, it worked. All right, so there's there's not too much more. Um, what we can do is um, um, is there's a f there's a few there are a few other items though. So let's do those. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make the remaining items now. Um, um, one of the items is a tripod. This allow, allows you to take um, put timers on it and stuff like that. So there it is, tripod. And the other item, something that I just alluded to at the very beginning of um, talking about this mod, was the filters. You've seen them on the cameras already. So there we go, this is a transparent filter. So if I just... Um, just put in a few bits. Just put in a couple there. Now we've got a few. Yeah, we've got a few there. That's cool. Um, what you can do is you can say you want it to take half of these. You can put some dye on it. There we go. We've got a yellow photographic filter. If we swap that out, we put say red in it. Red photographic filter. Um, Put some lapis in there. We've got the blue one. And um, put a green in there as well. And there's the green photographic filter. So we've got the transparent, the green. Obviously, you actually want to use the colored ones there. Um, and yeah, and that is literally all the items in the whole mod. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, Let's have a think about how we're going to do this. Um, so yeah, we could just take out um, our regular camera. Um, put in a red filter here. Um, yeah, we haven't got any film now. I, I, I could actually, um, yeah, I could just look through the thing. So if we go to mod here in the um, item subsets menu, we can, uh, we can go to mod. And we can just scroll down into camera craft which is over this is a bit fiddly to do I don't normally do it this way but I may as well try it for once go to mod and let's see what do we need just gonna need a film hmm we are in survival though she's not not ideal all right All right, I'll just do the, the, the easier way, which is just to, to put it in here. All right. So I'll just grab a film. Have I got it on there? Yeah, it should work now. Nope. Sometimes it doesn't work if it only puts it into your hotbar. Oh, well, I guess I'll just make it again. These are the best. This one, one of these days, I just do, I do one which is just like this. All right. So to make a film, anyway, um, what did I say we needed to do for that? It's just paper, isn't it? Oh, okay. They're all here now. Brilliant. <laughs> all right. Unfortunately, I chose the wrong one though. Um, let's just dump these out. I'm not quite sure what's going on with this. Yeah, it did seem to work. And it does seem to... Maybe they're just... They're suddenly just going to appear? I don't know. Hmm. But I wonder if you can actually do that with a normal camera. I mean, what would be different? What would actually happen there? You can't use black and white film, surely, like that. Really? And then I just take a photo. And this is... Well, that was the teleportation enabler. Let's call it that, I suppose. Um, I didn't mean to do that one. So let's process the film. I guess. Um, hmm, I may need to reload at this stage. Okay, so what I've done, right, is I've got my camera, 
I put a coloured film and a red photographic film. I've got the tripod. I set up these set of repeaters. And the camera. Alright, I guess I'm posing over there. Ah. It's too fast. Let's see if I can get there in time if this Yeah, I should be able to. It's just going to make it a little bit. Just give, my, give myself a bit more chance. All right, let's try and make it now. There we go. So that's how that works. So that was, so was that. It was a tripod. And what was the other thing I was going to do? I don't know, photographic filters, that was it. So yeah, that's how that works. And then all you do is you just go back to the camera. You can't actually access it. Um, hmm. What exactly has happened here then? I've got three photos on here. So let's just do one final, um, one final thing here. Um, are we able to get a bucket yet? For some reason, yeah, anyway, it's, Playing up a little bit, but it doesn't matter really. Let's just, I can just get a bucket straight from uh, the beginning here. All right. So yeah, we'll go in here, put the bucket in, put our film here. I don't think it actually changes the length of time it actually takes. Um, but yeah, that is, that is pretty much all the mods. So it's a pretty cool mod actually. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Um, Teleportation function is pretty cool. Um, so we've got the process coloured film now. So we'll go back here to the photo station. Uh, I'm going to process this. And yeah. Ah, so you can see what the red filter did. So it really is quite a strong filter. Um, and as you can imagine, all the other fields would do similar sort of stuff. I can activate it, make it big again. And yeah, just do this one final picture then. And yeah. And yeah. And because the teleportation enables there within the, um, like I said, 50 blocks. Um, gonna work as um, you'd imagine it would so yeah and I need the sticks and I wonder if I can just do that in here I wonder if I can use this crafter grid let's have a look it's a new fire yet can I just oh no this is just a um, yeah, you can't do that. I think it's if you, yeah, if you if you're I guess if you're printing out multiple photos. Hmm. All right. So I will just go through the process one more time. Surround it by sticks to make it into a poster. Well, it says it's a new photo, but it's actually a post painting, I suppose. And then we can add an end pearl to it. Um, to give it teleportation properties. And I can put it up anywhere I want really. Put it say, so that's not enough room there. Uh, I haven't really got enough room there, let's go somewhere else then. Maybe this building will be a wall. Well, I guess I can make it a wall. So, which one was it? Villager? New photo. And there it is. Pretty big. I may actually be more than 50 blocks away now, though. But I'm not. And here's exactly where the photo was taken. So that's all for this mod. Um, it's, all, it's all for this episode, I guess. I mean, 
there's possibly you know like, like with anything you know you never know what's going to happen with updates and all this stuff but yeah either way um thanks for watching